Walk around the compound. See some tackles. Maybe a squeak. Well, hello there, JP. Doodly doo. How are you? Ah, a great day of briskness ahead of us, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Oh, hello, Miss Aluchaloo. What a fine, splendid day. Ha ha ha. Tut tut tut. Do do Oh my. What, what is this? Oh. Oh God. Oh dear God. The carnage. Oh. What, what happened here? Okay. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm seeing. Excuse me, ladies. Can't take a joke. My gosh. Boom. Hi. How are you? Oh, that's very good to hear. Ah, hello all you big cat lovers out there. It's me, Derek, again. Welcome to another super duper fantastic, wonderful episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Um, I just got done doing a thing, and you probably have actually already seen it by the time that this gets posted. So, um, you'll be like, ah, that's the aftermath of the thing I did. Uh, where I did a, uh, I, I set up a shot with my GoPro and trying to catch some slow motion video of, uh, you know, smashing this thing, which has been in our barn for a really long time. It's this, it's this styrofoam tiger. And, okay, here's the backstory behind it. This dude, whose son, um, he, like, has been raising money for the facility for years. He's been doing uh, different, like, charity work and stuff like that. This dude, like, he found that thing on the side of the road. Um... And and he brought it to us one day, and he's like, ah, you know, you could, you could like set it up in front of like the vet center, and you could like have people take pictures with it, and and it could be a thing. <laughs> and um, we're just like, well, it's kind of strange. I mean, like, I suppose we're we're just like, oh, cool, all right, thank you, and like we just took it and we put it in the barn, and it's been in the barn for probably like close to a year. Um, and then I just keep on seeing that thing and just thinking, just like, I gotta do something with that. You know, like, we're not, we're not gonna have people take pictures with the, with the styrofoam tiger. But, uh, if we dramatically destroy it, uh, maybe that can become a thing. So, yeah, that's what the, that's what that's all about. So, ha ha ha. Success. I only bopped my head a little bit, too. Uh, so that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Hey, Mr. Peace Pants. How are you? Oh my goodness, he responded, he responded, he must love Derek so much. Now all the cats are just gregarious. They're gregarious and they like to, they like to conversate with people. That's just kind of their thing. You don't want to read terribly too much into it. So, yeah, you know, what's up? Okay, uh, we'll do some other stuff here in a little bit. I gotta film some things. That's Devin, by the way. He's helping us out. Say hi, Devin. Hi, guys. There we go. Um, yeah, he's he's been uh, he's been coming out and uh, taking time off of his schedule to to help out at the facility, and uh, and I get a little bit more in depth. He's kind of like a kind of like a hybrid between an intern and a volunteer. It's kind of strange. Um, because he spends, like, the times that he's here, he spends, like, you know, like, really involved and invested time, much like an intern would, but, um, he does, he's got school, so he kind of travels back and forth, uh, locally, and does that in a, in a way that a volunteer would, so, it's kind of like a strange crossbreed, oh my goodness, but, uh, I guess technically speaking, I kind of did a lot of the same type stuff, oh my gosh, Chompers, look at you. I was definitely kind of a hybrid. Oh, lipstick. Lipstick. Don't put that on the mirror. Writing messages with that lipstick. Goodness gracious, choppers. Oh, morning wood. Wow. Jeez. Yeah, it's still morning. It's like 10.30. Kind of late for that. Normally you get that a little bit earlier. 
So, yeah, you know. Hi, Kate. How are you? <laughs> what do you know? Oh, I know. Me too. Yeah, I don't really think that the Packers are going to go all the way. They might do a little bit here in the old playoffs, but uh, I just don't think that uh, they've just gotten too hurt and they've just gotten, they've lost too many key guys and stuff like that. And I think it's just kind of a, uh, hurt their chances of getting all the way to the Super Bowl. I mean, you got teams like, you know, the Pats and like uh, the Cardinals are doing pretty amazing. And then, and then you, you, you got the, the Panthers. They're, they're just, they're fantastic. I don't think that there's any way the Packers can, can really uh, get past these guys once playoff time comes around, you know? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You agree. You know what I'm talking about. Know what I'm talking about. <sighs> Lot of feedback off of the last webcast um all over the place you know just like people who were just like this uh this topic speaks to me on a very deep level thank you and then some people are like you know the things that you were saying some of them were good but then some of them you didn't go quite deep enough with them and then some of them were just like you know put labels on me and it's bad. dudes have been getting labels and what are you doing and stuff like that and then other people are just like Ech, meh I don't even really care. I like the cats and that's about it. And then, uh, you know, other people were like, you know, the thing, it's, it was, it did bring out a lot of conversation, which was good, which was good. Um, I guess I didn't really, uh, I guess I, I did kind of expect that that was the thing that was gonna happen. Um, so, you know. And I don't want people to also, they, they, like, I keep on, I also had to think about, like, oh, man, you know. <laughs> hi. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. <laughs> You're so cute. He's trying to yawn way in the distance. He's like, I want to be cute from afar, but I don't want to get off of this nice, warm, uh, sunny spot on the concrete. So I'll moo and be cute from over here, and that'll be good enough, right? Oh, boom. You are so cute. You're so cute. Yeah, but there's there's a lot of... And I... I, I, I was... Uh, I was... Like, a lot of that stuff was stuff that I'd been... I'd thought about and stuff that I was... Uh, there's a lot of thinking out loud type stuff that was happening and and I even I said that you know like look that I may not necessarily I may change my tune on certain things like as the years go by and as my values change and you know um so a lot of that stuff is just kind of like hey this is just kind of a snapshot of how uh how I'm trying to wrap my head around certain things now and also I don't want uh yeah I still I'm definitely like a lot of people I don't want to I don't want to be uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? This, uh, I don't want people to, like, get this wrong idea about me that, um, like, you know, and I, I like to think that a lot of my, my thought processes are, um, you know, are, are, are a little bit more forward thinking and progressive, but I still, I still root in the mud. Oh, yes, I still absolutely, just like a dirty dog guy. Absolutely. I don't want people thinking that that's not the guy. Hi, sugar pie. You know, because, like, people will sit there and say, like, oh, well, you know, to hear some of the things that I might, like, say, or some of the other jokes that I might make, or some of the jokes I might still think are funny, you know, and people are like, you hypocrite. What about that webcast, Derek? The one where you talk about the other gender things, but you're still laughing at sexism. And it's just, like, there's a lot of things that I can still find funny or ironic or or that you can parody certain topics or um, that, that you can find satire and humor in things. Like, I'm not... that. I think that that's still... There's still capabilities um, for that. Ma'am, 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 can you not step next to there, please? Thank you very much, yeah. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit too close to... Um, she's using the bathroom. <laughs> so, uh, there we go. But yeah, I don't want to... Hi. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. But yeah, I still... Oh gosh, you know. I'm still very much, uh, 
a dude. And some people were sitting there saying, just like, you know, some of the references that you've made in the past webcasts, I've, you know, numbers. I've gotten, you know, a little bit worried about them. You know, it's like, I'm still gonna make the references because again, it's like you could find humor in things. Like even though like I understand the ideological like underpinnings of a lot of like these movements and norms, doesn't mean I still can't find humor uh, in them. And it's just like the best way to like get through understanding is to just, you know, you can you can find jokes and stuff without being hurtful or hateful or anything like that. And I firmly believe that. And uh, I know that like George Carlin, he had a whole thing where he kind of basically said like, hey, either it's all okay or none of it's okay. Aroma. And and I I kind of believe a lot of that, you know, like because where because seriously where do you draw the line? Where do you draw the line on stuff? Because you're always like if 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 we start if you start drawing lines, you know, as far as like what topics you can talk about and what topics you can't talk about, what topics you can joke about and which ones you can't joke about. Once you start drawing lines, like the subjective like where the line is, like it's always going to move because everyone has a different version of where the line is and where the line goes and all that stuff and that doesn't mean that stuff can't come back and bite you in the ass that certainly doesn't mean that that you can't get so tasteless and so offensive and so this or that um that it doesn't come back you know to 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 ruin your day so i mean you got to understand that too i mean it, there's there's two sides to every coin hi bud i call it a girl a bud oh see you know gender norms <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah oh and I'll, I'll i'll make absolutely just completely like within the confines of my own home absolutely tasteless jokes a lot of times like simply for the sheer for the pure shock value like i don't i don't believe these things like in my heart of hearts but i still think it's funny to like say i'm like you know i'll be like interacting with heidi and i'll say something like oh, you get oh god and some of you probably oh some of you might get kind of myth. But like I'll say something like ah you know she'll be we'll be kind of going back and forth, you know just in a, in a kind of like tit for tat kind of you know thing and we do that like we roast each other that's the whole thing it's like you roast the ones that you love, and then she'll say something that's just like mean or just like intentionally kind of hurtful out of love, and then I'll be like hey, why don't you get in the kitchen and start rattling some pots and pans and she's like oh and then she wants to come over and start like you know hitting on me and I think that that's ha 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 it's fun, that's a relationship whatever so yeah like i said don't believe that stuff do i absolutely not uh but it's hilarious to to conjure up that kind of that kind of thing like oh my gosh you're subjugating with other things like that but sometimes sometimes and i am a firm believer of this is that sometimes humor is the salve that you apply to uncomfortable truths it really is you know, it's like the thing that you kind of try to dig in, that, that hard, you know, muscle that you have inside of you. That sometimes you got to really kind of just get in there and knead it out. So, do I absolutely, do I believe that? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. But in a certain context and in the right moment when you can actually sit there and like do that kind of thing with like someone that you trust. And she knows that you don't mean it and that you're being, you know, intentionally inflammatory. Um, and then she's of course going to come back over and she's going to sit there and just try to like, you know, kind of smack and then be like, don't you ever say that again. And I'm just like, oh, and it gets, you know, it's kind of fun, you know? Yeah. Why not? Why not? I can't believe you two. <laughs> you say all of the right things and then you go to completely dismantle it the next one. I don't think so. I don't think so. You're contradictory. Oh my gosh. I, you know, I mean, I'm not trying to be contradictory. I'm just trying to, like, give you, like, a full spectrum of, like, you know, all of this. I don't want you to sit there and think that there's this way or that one way or, or, or I don't want to sit there and try to paint this, I'm this, you know, I'm this type of person. No, I am, I, I, I don't think that I'm, you know, I don't think I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bastard. Uh, I, I like to think that, that, yeah. So, yeah, there's there's all sorts of stuff like that. And then she'll say something like, I'll rattle your pots and pans. And then I think, yeah, it gets, it's, it's, it's fun. I like a lady that can, you know, that can give it back. That can be strong. 
I like that. You yeah, know? That can... That can go toe to toe. I find that attractive. Hi, Layla. Probably gonna get a couple of dislikes for that. One, oh well. Maybe some unsubscribes. You know, the webcast used to be so much better when it was 10 minutes, and we had Andrew Derek, and we had some That's like, what do you want from me? It's my nostalgia. I know, the one person who's gonna make the comment, it's my nostalgia talking. I wish that Andrew Derek was here in the 10 minute webcasts, and we just put pizza on everything. I'm like, I'm sorry. Look, we're gonna keep on, yeah, evolving this whole thing. It's just, it's just how it is. It's just how it is. What do you want? What do you want? I can't be the Derek that you all, that, that you individually need. I can only be the Derek that I can know how to be at any given time. Oh, had a, had a, uh, slightly, this is gonna like really kind of like change topics. Um, really gonna be changing topics, but uh, yeah, I had a, I don't know what it, I, 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 I had a bit of a, I don't know, like a meltdown, I guess, the other day, something like that. Um, it was like a, maybe a, oh my gosh, Akari. Oh my gosh, there's so many cute kitties today. So many cute kitties. Capture. Just gonna just sit. Look at this. Look at her. She's wonderful. She's wonderful. <sighs> but yeah, I had a I had a bit of a I don't know if it was a panic thing or if it was an anxiety thing, but um, I, I've been working for. Uh, just can't remember the last time I had a break. Um, every day has been filled with something, you know, like I said, my pants have been just dirty and there was no, there's no breaks. There's no nothing. And, and it was not just with like this place, but the other, other job too. Um, I don't, I don't know what happened. I, I, I kind of, yeah, I kind of had a, I, w I don't want to say it was a detachment from reality, but like, I think that there were a lot of mental things that kind of came into place to um, set up like almost like a defensive network uh, in my brain to keep me from like really going over the deep end. Ended up getting like just really numb, really, really numb, like in a, in a field of molasses, couldn't, uh, couldn't really move. Um, and then, uh, became very I, I and it, it's such a weird thing because it just it happens so fast like one day I was fine the night before I was fine even like a morning I was fine and then like as the day wore on it just like everything just kind of started really tumbling down like this these feelings of uh of anxiety and then um and then depression and then physically not being able to uh perform and function and then um getting very uh uh, getting very emotional for no reason, like not even knowing why it just like things were just like coming out. I just, you, I couldn't, uh, couldn't control it. Like it didn't even, like there was no reason. There was no reason. I was, there wasn't like a, a, a singular thought that I was thinking of inside of my head. Um, that was, uh, that was pressuring me, you know, to, to, to get emotional but it just just it was and then um you know thank god thank god variety uh she she got me and she she got me out of the compound and she 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 took me inside and um made sure i was made sure i was taken care of um and talked to me and you know got me food stuff like that made sure everything was like uh really quiet and without stimuli and um, again, that's it. She's, you know, she used to be a therapist and, uh, yeah, she, uh, kind of, I don't know, got me, got me, got me in a better place. 
And then I slept for 16 hours. And I slept for 16 hours. Woke up. I don't know what it was like. It was like, like this tremendous weight was lifted. Um, my whole body felt um, numb, almost euphoric. It was strange. I think that there was a lot of uh, uh, a lot of nervous tension that finally uh, got released um, because, like, I remember doing tours. I was doing tours yesterday, and I I was. It was like it was like almost like a strange, like very low kind of almost like, you know, like a, like for lack of a better term, like a buzz, you know. Didn't take anything. I had some coffee that morning. But it's like there was so much um, release from my nervous system uh, that that everything was just kind of floaty. Strange. It's really strange. I don't know what that was all about. Yeah, it's good to have uh, it's good to have people that uh, you know that love you. And, uh, and look out for you, take care of you. You know, it really is. But um, yeah, the, I think that the kickoff for a lot of that stuff was just, it's, you know, thinking that it was gonna be like, like finally we're gonna have like one day, one day, you know, to just relax and just not have the phones ring and not have the doorbells ring and not have like cows, not have trailer loads of like stuff because it's like right now it's like we don't have there's there's no there's no work and and it's the holiday time and you think that there's some way to, you know like most people are um taking time off to spend with their families and this has always been a really stressful time for for me and Heidi because we can't we can't take the time off um that's is, this is when we lose our volunteers we lose our interns and everything and now with like the change of my job having to go back and forth and working like a different um, different caliber of sh like you know of shifts and a different caliber of, of workload yeah a lot of stress a lot of a lot of nervous tension gets uh, piled onto things and I think it just got it, I think it simmered over you know I think it did but you know good thing Heidi was there Good thing Heidi was there. Oh boy. Sleepy babies. Sleepy babies. Oh. And some people are saying like, you need to just take the time off. And it's like, well, there's literally no one here to take care of the place. Well, just give it to the interns. Like we don't, we don't have the interns. And then the ones that we are going to be getting here in a little bit, they're, um, you know, they're we we gotta we gotta train them from scratch. And also, you can't just give the place to the interns. Like it's there's a few different responsibilities that you have to uh, consider. You can't just be like here you go. <laughs> you know, it's uh. You know, it's like giving the 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 keys to uh, a, a corporate company to the kid that works in the mail room. Like, here you go. Please the shareholders. <laughs> that's, that's so, it's like, it's not that simple. There's a little bit more to it than just that. So, yeah. But, uh, oh boy, it's pretty fantastic what about 16 hours of sleep can do for just your psyche and just your overall demeanor and your overall sense of being. Oh, I, I recommend it. Wow. Oh, boy. Um, oh, for those of you who, um, you know, just keeping track at home, uh, I make Heidi breakfast in bed a lot, like all the time, and I also do dishes all the time. Just want you to know that.
I, 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 I help out. I contribute in uh, many of the household duties. She often tells me, just like, just, no, don't, just, I'll do it. I'm like, I want to help. I know you want to help. I, <laughs> I know. And I don't, I'm not one of those guys that, like, like, intentionally tries to do a bad job. You know, like, oh, if I just do a bad job, she won't ask me to do it again. No, I legitimately, like, screw things up. Like, and she's just like, honey, I love you, but just stop. Don't, don't do that again. I'm like, why? Well, I, I want to help. I'm like, I know you do, but you suck at it. <laughs> I don't want to be helpful. I won't be a helpful boy. <laughs> Derek did good. <laughs> yeah, Derek did good. Derek put away the dishes. <laughs> oh. And then she just gives me a loving pat on the head. <laughs> Yes, you did, sweetie. <laughs> Cassie. Sass. 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 Sass, 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 sass. Oh. Yeah, I've ruined a couple of, uh, oh, ruined a couple articles of laundry, clothing. I <laughs> stuff. Sassy! Sassy Cassie. Why am I talking about this? This is just dumb. Cassie! I'm sitting there telling everyone just how like inept I am. <laughs> oh, this one time I screwed this thing up. Oh, and also, it's like, you, like, this is the other thing. Again, you talk about like some of the gender roles, like even within our household. You know like how uh, good I am with, uh, Oh, like, oh, oh, the guy's supposed to be the one that fixes the things and uses the power tools and does all that stuff. Nope, that's completely backwards. Um, in our, uh, situation, it is, uh, yeah, it's definitely, like, I was at Lowe's, uh, last night with, uh, with Heidi. And, like, she's, like, you know, having to pick out saw blades to, to do, you know, some, uh, some work on some countertops. I have no idea. Like what is like she's she's talking to the dude and she's like oh what about this size or let's see make sure to put tape over on this thing and talking yeah well it's gonna be a hip flange as that is gonna be talking about that I'm just like I have no idea I have no clue he's the one that teaches me all about that stuff not the other way around oh speaking hi hon uh just a couple of minutes is this tour coming is the tour here. It's tour time. Oh, you're making, she's making, she's making soup for me. Oh my gosh, this is so wonderful. Thank you for making me soup. I will do the tour. Okay. That's Hania, that's Heidi over there. Founder and executive director of the Center for Animal Research and Education. My loving wife. <laughs> just, just, I don't want to be on. I don't want to do any of this. Be on. Oh yeah, no, she had to teach me how to use power tools. She did. Love you, Dad, but you didn't teach me how to use any of that stuff. Yeah, yeah, Mom watches the webcast. She'll have to tell you all about that. <sighs> Dad's kind of a paranoid chap. Safety! Oh, gosh! Just never... Never got around to teaching me how to use a, a belt sander. <laughs> and I remember, and I, I've talked about this in other webcasts. I've even talked about this in other webcasts. This one, oh my gosh, this last part is bouncing all over the place. But yeah, my brain's going a mile a minute right now. But um, my uh, guidance counselor in high school, um, like, he was saying, like, I was, he was saying, like, okay, well, what classes do you want this year? Like, you know, my junior, my senior year. Because I had gotten most of my core requirements out of the way. And uh, I was saying, like, I really want to take, like, you know, some, a couple of, just a couple, a couple shop classes. So, like, some woods classes and stuff like that. Can you just, you know, sign me up for a couple of those? Because I'd like to know some of the basic skills for 
construction and building stuff and fixing things and and then he basically said like no you're never gonna have a job or a career or anything like that well you need to know those types of skills here let me give you like 10 music appreciation classes let's give you some music theory classes let's give you five art classes and it's like this is all great and this is like definitely within my wheelhouse but uh i kind of want to know how to like you know like turn some wrenches you know i don't really do that stuff no you'll never need You'll never need that. What are you, crazy? All right, I guess. <sighs> All right, well, I got a tour. I got a tour I gotta go do. Time for me to go rattle some pots and pans. <laughs> I'm gonna be hearing about that one for a long time, probably, but it's okay. Like I said, there's humor to be had in situations. There's humor, come on, lighten up, people. Just lighten up. Jeez, jeez. Just when I thought that you were on our side. <laughs> All right, folks, that's it. It's tour time. I gotta go. I gotta go. All right. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.